Our agriculture system is really concentrated in the number of crops we use and in the regions in which we grow them. And that is a very fragile system. Terviva grows a new tree crop called Pangamia on the kind of land that doesn't support other types of crops. And at the same time, we're actually storing carbon in those trees, absolutely redefining the paradigm of growing plant protein and vegetable oil, and then establishing biological resilience in our food system with one new crop. My parents are immigrants from India. Every summer, I spent at least one month in India, so I really had a juxtaposition of living in the U.S., but also being back in my roots. When I entered college, I also spent a very formative summer working in West Africa, which gave me some of my initial exposure to agriculture. Came out here to California to do my MBA at UC Berkeley, and that is when I actually learned about the Pangamia tree. The Pangamia tree is native to the subtropics. You could think of it as soybeans growing on a tree. The combination of the hardiness of the tree, its ability to tolerate erratic availability to water, its ability to fix nitrogen, and the fact that it can be used as what we call an agroforestry crop make it a really special solution for farmers around the world. Right now we're growing in a couple of parts of the world. We've got about 1,500 acres planted in, in Australia, Florida, and Hawaii. And we are working with communities in India that have hundreds of thousands of pangania trees already. In the case of the U.S. and Florida, it used to be a big citrus industry. That industry is substantially reduced due to a disease that's impacted the production of citrus. We give them a new crop to work with that works really similar to citrus, but that has different biology and different markets that lets them diversify their income. Terviva's built know-how in two parts of the Pangamia business. One part is the trees themselves. We have invested a lot in non-GMO breeding. Make sure they grow really well in poor quality land and produce a lot of beans. Far less water, far less fertilizer, and a positive carbon impact. We've got about 12 here, another 12 here. This whole bunch has about 20 on them. It's a happy tree producing a lot of crop. We plan to plant approximately 40 million trees between now and 2030. So that would be 40 million tons of carbon stored over 20 years. On the processing side, we are the first company to invent a scalable, natural, and affordable way to debitter pangamia beans and make edible oil and edible protein. We use a natural processing solvent and we also fully recycle that solvent to create those streams. The resulting oil and protein have really nice applications. When you saute with the oil, you get a little bit more color and a little bit more crackle to the cooking. It is a beautiful, premium, full-bodied, high smoke point oil that is so versatile. The other application I like is just as a high protein flour. We have made crackers and cookies and breads and biscuits. And what's really exciting is that we're now working with partners to scale it all. I now have a 10-year-old daughter and an 8-year-old son, and I have trees that are 12 years old. The trees are producing beans and my kids are doing their own things in the world. It's been humbling and powerful to be able to do both of those things together. We all read the statistics about what will happen to our planet over the next two, three decades. We're in a little bit of a race, and our goal is to see how fast we can plant these trees around the world so that we can simultaneously sequester billions of tons of carbon and make billions of tons of food in the parts of the world that desperately need it and that are going to be most impacted by climate change. I'm Naveen Sika. I'm the co-founder and CEO at Terviva.